first talking business with Nona Peltier. And Nona, you came down to see us because Nona checks in to discuss what she's going to discuss with us and said, by golly, Sky TV says it's going to miss its profit forecast for the year. That's right. Elaborate. Our well, what's happened is the subscriber numbers have fallen again. So in their full year to June 30, they had a flat number. And I guess the number was uh, 852,679 subscribers. Holy so in the year ended June a, 30. So, so the 800... And yeah, 852,679, that's every kind of subscriber, not right. just the kind that subscribes to television. Could be one that watches online, it could be one okay. that has Even a fan so, in a country of 4.4 million, that sounds like a big market It does, share, right? yep. but you know how what the increase was only 1,000 from the uh, year earlier. Right, and okay. so revenue is flat, costs are? Well, what happened was in the period since then to the end of November, the numbers have fallen, so that's not good. And as a result of that, so has the revenue. Meanwhile, the company has been busy uh, securing the rights to um, the America's Cup in 2017. The Lions Tour, which of course will be of great interest to you, John. It's true. So the, the Lions Rugby Tour. Now you don't even really know what you don't even really know what the Lions Tour is, I do, do you? So I do, I do, and also. But, but, but rugby pays the bills for that's right. and also although the PGA, it's a big cost to them, right? Yeah, and yeah. the PGA Golf. And so even though they expect to get some return from that over time, this financial year, no, they don't. So that means that they dropped their profit forecast uh, by five to seven percent over what they were forecasting, and so now they're expecting to make uh, maybe perhaps 15% less than they made the year earlier. Not good. So what this happened? Is this is a tough business now, isn't it? Because yeah, there are so really many competitors is. in the market. It really is. And of course, they're looking, their their, their merger plans with uh, Vodafone, Vodafone have been delayed until at least February 23rd when the Commerce Commission is going to come up with a decision. So yeah, it's just not a good, they're not having a good time. Uh, easily, you know. What did their share price do? Well, as you would expect, it fell nearly 11%. Um, that was, uh, yeah, closed down to $4.28. Now, interestingly, our New Zealand dollar, just to change the subject a bit, I'm quite excited about this. Yes, the U.S. Federal Reserve tomorrow morning <laughs> expected to raise interest rates. We've only been talking about this for a year, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's supposed to happen. And, uh, well, of course, it's almost certain to happen. What the market will be interested in is what the feds are thinking about in the year ahead with Donald Trump's policies and so on. We'll see what happens there. So then we can have something else to talk about for the next year, John. Meanwhile, our dollar is trading at 72.1 US cents, 96.2 Australian, and 57 pounds. So in advance of the Fed, the New Zealand dollar didn't move much at no, all, did it? No, not at all. Okay. No. Thanks, Nona. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Nona Peltier, our Auckland business reporter.